I'm gonna take a chance here. Good morning, Zombie Land. Try to break in that bunker. Maybe we could hang out in that bunker during the horde. Although it'll be hard to get out after. Would you like to see that? I wonder if my pickaxe is good enough to uh, break that door down. It's going to take a damn long time. What do you think? Should we... Uh see what's going on in this bunker I mean they won't dig down to me the thing would be how to get out come morning because there'll be dogs out here and stuff It'll probably destroy the top and fall down and kill you. You don't think it will be safe down in here during the event? It's all concrete and closed when I get inside there. They'd have to dig down pretty far. I, I think it probably would be okay, honestly. Just don't know about how to get out come uh, morning. Why can't I hit this spike? Hey, Starcat Blue, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. They attacked a block in front of them. Your favorite weapon is a sawed off shotgun max level since ammo is cheap. Yep. I don't have any guns yet. They would get down the hole. The top is their range, and they would get down the hole. Well, there might be things I could do to. Like, I could. I could. I could plug it up, perhaps. How much damage does this door take? Look at this. I could probably break it down. Hey, Snake Breath. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, what could we do to make it safe? I mean... Could just put a bunch of spikes at the bottom of the hole too so if they do get down that they would get on the spikes like if i can get inside that door although i can't make another secure vault door of my own to replace it i can only replace it with a wood door i might be able to make an iron door and i could destroy the ladder so that they aren't able to go up and down it that they would have to fall in. I mean, I could fill this whole thing in with wood blocks right come nightfall and just barricade myself in down there. And if I'm going to do that, I should think about what I would want to take with me. I think I'm going to pop back up to my base real quick and grab some, like, food and water and stuff. Oh, another broken ladder, damn it. They keep breaking the fucking ladders on me. Son of a bitch. What the fuck was that? Holy shit. I'm almost dead. And he's gonna get me. I can't get up. Haha, <laughs> what the fuck is going on, man? What the fuck happened? Well, there's my first death. 
I couldn't seem to remove the freaking block above me to get up. Urgh. No, I don't know what happened. I think he blew up the car or a gas barrel, but uh, why couldn't I climb off the ladder? Is it missing a rung up top as well? Okay, I don't know what happened. Is that a screamer that's not screaming yet? The new landmines can be annoying, I do agree. They aren't really fun to have to deal with. So anyway, I came up here because I was thinking if I'm going to try to... Yeah, that is a screamer. I'm going to try to hang out in that bunker for the horde. It's not going to be very exciting to watch, admittedly. But I should bring some supplies with me. Now, that won't be really interesting, Willow. What can I do to make this? I've got some spikes and stuff. I just don't know where I should put them and what, what's the best way to deal with it. I remember I wanted to get the candles. Let me look over what I wanted to grab here real quick. Anyway, I look at it, there's certain things I needed right now. I need more feathers, fucking A. I don't need this anymore. No, I blocked it. Fortunately, I can't really get to her right now. See a little trick you can do with this setup? I'll take care of that. That's a good idea. Yeah, she's calling down the horde. I might want to just get out of here real quick. But I do have to kill some screamers for the uh, objective. So tiny. What are you attacking? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, this stun is so ridiculous. <clears throat> I just can't afford to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, and I have very little ammo. I want to kill this screamer. Alright, 
screw this. Ah! That's a waste on those guys. The screamer dead. I need to heal my ass up again. Need beer so they don't stun you. Right, I forgot. I think I have a jar. Next time I'm going to do any fighting, I'll make sure I bring the beer. Here we go again. Got out of there in a hurry. For some reason, I can't seem to pick up that frame when I go up there. Oh god, another screamer. I put my crossbow way too quick. Jesus, this is a... Uh, can you shoot the barrel if you put it down? Yeah, one hit would kill me, you're right. Let's heal up. I think I have a couple of med kits, so I only have one. Let's use up some of this stuff. Take me more of these. It's the stunning that's the big problem. Their animations are a little hard to gauge exactly when to attack and stuff, but... Right, they must have broke the ladder because they're not climbing up anymore. I mean, I've already got my Day 7 Horde here at like 10 o'clock in the morning right now. And I wasn't even ready for it yet. I still have a bunch of spikes I was going to put down and shit. But I wasn't sure where I was going to put them yet. I shouldn't be carrying this meat after all. Because I was going to take it into that bunker. And another screamer. I could put spikes in the lower floor below me, but they're going to just get all destroyed, I'm sure of it. Like nothing. I think the ladder's broken. In case I better bring some. Oh man, I jumped off of there like three times already without getting hurt. Now oh, I got a fucking broken leg or whatever. Ridiculous range. Thank <laughs> you. 
Got her. And here comes another one. Okay, so yeah, screamers still galore. Jeez, they hit hard. Super thirsty. I need to kill her and she's freaking surrounded. She's a lot slower than them, so if I let them get separated a bit, I might be able to sneak around and take her on. And here's another one. Look at it. They're everywhere. What's the good of having them just, you know, of killing them if they just keep respawning? Like, you should be able to get control of the situation by killing them. Instead, it's just escalating and escalating. I'm going to need to make a new club soon, too. Oh, I hit her! Through all those people, I'm like, that's a wasted arrow, and I got her. Look at all these zombies, Jesus Christ. And I haven't even had the proper horde start yet. I sure do, Starcat Blue. A bunch of followers in games, right? They really love me. They wanna they enjoy my work. But I wouldn't kill for like, what I wouldn't give right now for like a, a Left 4 Dead style pipe bomb. Just tink, 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 tink right out in the middle of them there. Die, you little... Look at how many fucking zombies there are now. The rate it takes me to kill them, there's no way to keep up with that. If I had a gun, if I had like fucking 5,000 arrows. Okay, she's wandering away from the group. They seem to always wander away from the group at some point and forget what they're on about. Okay, that completed a quest. I had a quest earlier to kill Screamers. Now I have the one to kill three zombie dogs. As you see, that's the one that's been tracked the whole time, but there was one for Screamers as well there for a bit. I'm not sure what I got from it, but uh, I got it. There's usually several gas barrels around and in garages. Yes, I did pick up a couple. I wanted to make sure to get them before nightfall in case I did hang out here during the night. 
so that they wouldn't blow the place up on me. I don't see anything uh, flammable left in here. There's a safe I still didn't open yet. This car could blow up, obviously. I could grab my wrench and uh, start to take it apart. time for this horde. I have a bunch of spikes, I just don't know where I want to put them yet. I think those gas pumps can explode too, so actually this building is kind of dangerous to be in for this horde. I'd really like to use the traps I made. Do you guys have any ideas how I could, like, make best use of them here? I mean, my base is, like, right above here, so I could just, like, fill this area with them for now, and that'd be the best I could do, and just sit up in the top while, uh, while the horde is on. There's actually too many zombies around for me to even have the freedom to put the spikes down right now. It's either that or hang out on a different building. You know what I mean? I, I'm not sure what to do. There's one barrel on the road, a bunch of zombies around, and then shoot it from a safe distance. I've never tried that. You can do that. Will it work with the bow? My character is super thirsty again. Or will it work with the crossbow? I put the gas cans away already. Shit. Let me go back up there again. I need to drink. My guy's fucking dying of thirst and stuff. And they destroyed my ladder all bad. Again. You little bastards. And the guy downstairs is cranking the tunes again. Holy fuck, has he got that loud? I wonder if you guys can hear it. Okay. I'm gonna figure out how to get these spikes down. I'm gonna use them. I mean, I suppose they'll gather up around by the ladder. Oh, she got the stutter step on me, the double swing, little bitch.
Level up. Oh my god, I'm out of stamina. was a battle. There's usually a two or three story building in most towns. Best place to defend. Uh, there, There is one of those. I know what you're talking about. I could go there. I mean, I'm run running out of time to decide. I have very little things to actually fight with. It's, it's really unfortunately going to be best for me to just find somewhere that I can stay through the night. To let, let them fucking just sit there and d d attack shit. And then just jump down in the morning and clear it up after after the this daytime. I still want to use these spikes though. To at least some effect. I guess what I'll do is I know my base is like. Uh, above this area here so I'll just go ahead and uh, let's fill this whole pit with these I know you can upgrade those, but it just seems like a waste right now to upgrade them. They're going to get destroyed anyway. I just want them to do a little bit of damage while I'm camped out in my base overnight. Ooh, having a little trouble jumping up on there. You can double them up now too. I don't know if you guys are aware of that, but you can stack spikes on top of spikes, which is neat. I can put some on the stairwell there too? I didn't know that. It's getting close. Yep, I agree. I need another club, but I'm not having to fight anything right now. I'll do that while I'm up at my base. Right now, I'm trying to just get some spikes down before I go back up there. Gather a little more wood. And I was going to light the area up as well. And I may even put a hole in the floor so that I can look down on them during the battles. So my base is directly... This is the center line right here. You can put them next to each other even to fill that gap. That is cool.
Okay. And like I said, maybe I could make like a hole in the floor and put uh, some iron grating above it so that I could safely sit over it and shoot through it. I don't necessarily want that inside my base though. Maybe over here. Or on the back side. I need to make a new club. Using up all my iron fast, so I'm gonna need to get more. Um, there is some that I could mine on this roof. Not a lot, but I could break these metal things down. I just kind of stopped, got away from mining stone and iron for a while there. This will get me back some here. I'm getting close to horde time. I guess I'm just gonna hunker down and get ready for it. I'm going to try to punch a hole or two in the roof and put uh, the bars in so that we can watch. Maybe I didn't need to make six bars, actually. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I could actually put one in the base safely if I like put it back over here. Yikes, this is going to take a while to break through this, huh? Actually, we're punching like two or three places, maybe three, that I can uh, move around during the night to uh, shoot at them and watch the horde. I have one on my base here just because I like the idea of a place to be able to peek down from inside all the time. It's too bad I died there. I was hoping not to die for a long time. Minor setback, though. This is some tough shit to break through. I got a level 200 almost in perfect condition when I started. Pickaxe, and it's like taking forever to cut through this. Maybe I should have took minor 69er. Seems like it would be useful after all now. Oh, 
Oh shit, we are... Yep, it's uh, 21.30. It is horde time. The Day 7 event is about to begin, and I have 9 crossbow bolts and 11 arrows, and that's it. I have a bunch of spikes underneath me that I can observe from here, and I might make another hole, one on each side of the building here, as a place to watch from. I'm going to start it in the meantime until the horde starts, then I'll go inside, I guess, and try to lure them as much over the spikes as possible. Yeah, actually, it's about to start any time here, so... Actually, I'll stay out at first so we can watch them coming in. It's always kind of funny and fun to watch the horde come rushing in. Here we go, day seven event, about to start. They're coming from the other side. Nope, they're already inside, so I'm not getting a chance to see them. I guess this kind of works, huh? I do see what they mean now that they wanted to change spikes so that they were more about slowing zombies down. Like, it's not exactly killing them fast, but they move through them really slowly. So I guess if you had like a large field of them, you could sit at your base and shoot at them while they were coming through the spikes all slowly. That would be the idea. And I like that more because I don't want the spikes to do all the work. I don't mind trying to kill them a bit myself. But I have very few arrows. And I can't see that well without the flashlight. For right now, we'll let the spikes work for a little bit. You hope the building doesn't fall down? I don't think it will. In order for them to bring the building down, they'd have to destroy the outer walls. And where I'm standing right now, they're all trying to get to the middle. If I went out on the perimeter of the building and moved in circles around and let them destroy all the walls, they might bring it down. But I'm probably pretty safe up here. I like this little peak hole from my base. This is cool. Yeah, that is possible. If I see that they're attacking the floor underneath me, then I'll move somewhere else. Uh, they've already destroyed all the spikes in this area pretty good, so what I'm going to do is head over and punch another hole through over here, like I was saying, because that's over some more of the spikes that haven't been taken out yet. And we'll watch them from over here for a little bit. I sure hope a spider doesn't get up here. But I do believe this building is spider-proof. I'm really enjoying this game again. I have to say, good job, pimps. You've really brought the game back in a good way in the last couple of alphas. I didn't like some of the changes at first. I was pretty critical of them, but I've changed my mind on most of it. I no longer miss the crafting grid. I love the new complexity of things. The new distant terrain is just such an amazing feature. And the game is running as good as ever. Here I am under the full-blown assault. Uh, in a city under Horde Assault, and I'm getting 60 frames a second still while streaming. So I might be able to start streaming at 1080p in the long run. Except where the ladder is, yeah, but the ladder's blocked, Starcat, so they shouldn't be able to get up there. We're almost through here, and then I can get another iron bar in and uh, take a look at what's going on down there. 
My stamina is struggling. I'm gonna let it recoup for a sec. See, if I was over under, on top of that car, they would be attacking that car and it would blow up and it would do some serious damage. So I'm trying to keep them away from the pumps in the car. Zombies always try to get directly under you or above you. They always try... Oops, I better be careful where I'm standing there. They always try to get to your exact, like, Z coordinates or whatever. So now that I've taken out all those spikes anyway, there are some, sp some spikes towards the front of the building that they probably haven't uh, gotten on very much yet. Yeah, that whole area in the front there is, so I'm going to move over here to lure them through the spikes that are remaining. I wish I could get a look at them for you, but I'll have to punch a hole in the floor to do that again. Can't see the moon because of the conditions, but it would be a blood moon right now with the red sky. So this will ultimately be pretty uneventful. Um, they're not going to be able to destroy the building. I just have to wait for morning to come and uh, go down and kill him or lure him away. Yeah, they're still gonna keep attacking till till like 4 a.m. Fortunately, no dogs. I haven't heard a dog yet. Let me turn the sound on a little bit. Oh my god, that is so fucking annoying. They they really I really wish they would lower uh, zombie sounds a little bit. It also seems that as you kill them, more come in. Like, you only get so many at a time now. You used to have, like, fuck, you could see, like, a horde of, like, 60, 70 zombies come rolling over the hillside at you. These days, it's more like 10 or 15 at a time, but as you kill them, more keep coming. That's part of the performance thing, I guess. It used to get pretty laggy during hordes, so they are spacing them out over time more, I guess. Overall, I feel like this is a great start to this world. Uh, first week complete in the middle of a pretty decent town, very near the city hub. Um, in the second week, we'll probably try to get out and explore a little more thoroughly in the perimeters and find more feathers and food and all the other crap that I've been struggling on, more iron. Think about whether to relocate or not for the Day 14 horde. I'd like to set up a mine somewhere. Possibly build a base proper if I had enough resources, like a cobblestone base? I don't know. These are all thoughts that could be achieved. Meanwhile, these dumbass zombies are just no threat at all. I'm down to about 300 iron. I could also use more clay. I seem to remember that I was doing really good on food and water still, yeah. Ten of each of each of these, plus some other stuff. I have a whole nother one here.
Oh, that's right. You guys are saying shorts were uh, nicer for uh, temperature. The breakdancing zombies are funny. Total live 8, max per wave 50. Yeah, so I thought it was more like 10 to 15, but yeah. You get like 8 at a time. And since you can change that, maybe I'll tweak that for my game, because I think my system can handle it. I mean, the performance now is great. So, I'm not sure... You know, they may have overdone it for a system like mine. I could maybe dial it back up a bit for the second record. Just kind of taking a look at what all I have here and what I could use for anything right now. Some skins I've never seen before. This blonde one with like the the kind of Daisy Duke red shorts and the red top. That's new to me. I know there's some new zombie types from different biomes, and you see those during the weekly hordes. Well, it's almost morning, and that ain't much of a threat down there, so. You know, we're going into the next week. What to work on next? I'd kind of like to take a short break to make something to eat. I'll probably play a little longer, though, because we've made it through the horde and I've still got a little wind in my sails, so to speak. So I'm going to make one more hole on this side, just for the long term. I kind of like that. That is a stripper girl. Am I able to make a Molotov? I don't think so. Probably want to make a new pickaxe since I need to gather iron. Ah, it takes a long time to break through this shit. Good morning, zombies. Oh, come on with the stamina. I'm so close. I 
I better bring the ladders just in case they broke any. I don't need them right away though. I want to fill these jars. 